All right, the package in the mail today. Let's take a look. It's pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be, but maybe that's just the box. Wrapped up very good. Uh, lots of bubble wrap. All right, what do we have? Uh, well, let me uh, let me zoom you over here. Sorry for the sorry for the camera work here. Uh, there we go. It is an eighty eighty five microprocessor training trainer, the MicroMaster eight thousand. So um, probably some of you have seen these. It seems like there there's a bunch for sale. Um, and they're way too much money for it that I ever wanted to spend on them. I think they're like 150 bucks or something. I don't know something. So I saw this one, and it had some missing parts, and um, made the guy an offer, got it cheap. So uh, I never like to pay full price for anything. It has a uh, little switches. It has an 80, 8156, which is. Um, I believe RAM, a timer, and I.O. all in one chip. It has the 8085. It has the latch to demultiplex the addressing. And then I believe it has a uh, electrically erasable ROM. So you can write a program and you can store it in ROM and it'll, and it'll stay there. I think that's the way this thing works. Um, but there are schematics and books and stuff available for this thing. Um, so we will, we will play with it in upcoming episodes. So here's a better look at it. Um, these things came as a kit, and whoever this guy was did not know how to solder. <laughs> uh, it's pretty, pretty bad soldering. Um, I think one of the problems was his iron wasn't hot enough. He's had a really hard time putting this uh, three terminal regulator on and uh, so that looks pretty bad um, all these all these LEDs are all pointed different directions didn't pay any attention to detail for sure so anyway I'll spend some time cleaning that up um, uh, reset enable ROM enable RAM TIM which is probably the timer and the uh, enable the IO timer uh, IO slash uh, IO slash not memory, so you can either set the address for memory and set the address for uh, IO. It's interesting. The uh, address counter only goes up to eight, so zero through eight. That's all you get because um, it's all in. That gives 256 bytes of RAM in here. Um, address latch enable read write. RS, don't know what that is. Anyway, yeah, these are all uh, crooked too. Uh, did not take a lot of time putting this together. So I think I'm missing a couple parts. Um, I believe one or both of these is a, uh, a BCD to um, L, uh, three, seven segment display decoder. I think it's a 7447. Not sure what the other one is. I'll have to get out the schematics. Um, power LED on off switch. Um, let's see. Where's the uh, where's the crystal for this thing? Interesting. No crystal. Maybe maybe just a. Uh, an RC oscillator. That's interesting. Didn't know you could do that with an 8085. Looks just like an RC oscillator here. Um, and 
Yeah, it looks like there's a WEN write enable, so I believe that's the... Uh, um, you can turn this into a ROM or a RAM, uh, this, this uh, EE prom. So if it's write enabled, then whatever you put in here is being written in it, and if you flip it back over, it turns it into a ROM and, and uh, everything is protected. Uh, so so this, must, this must have been done at some pretty late date, because those types of devices weren't available for some time. So I'm not sure what date this board was actually uh, was actually manufactured. Maybe the uh, instruction manual will say something. Uh, let's see here. Rev-A board. Uh, I don't see a date code really on it. Uh, let's see, how about the parts? Uh, part date codes are 84. Um, Eighty-six, uh, eighty-six, uh, eighty-eight. Uh, so yeah, fairly, fairly recently, in the grand scheme of things. Um, but looks like there's some expansion here. Although, oh yeah, we do have some traces coming out. Interesting. I think this will be pretty crude. Uh, take a long time to toggle things in, and, but uh, should be able to learn something from it. Okay, uh, here's a uh, here's a schematic. Um, here's the 8051. Um, it does have just a 10k and a 20 puff capacitor for the crystal. Interesting. Uh, reset switch. Um, there is an 8156, which I don't believe is the right part number. Uh, no, it is, 8156, um, which is basically an 8255, ports A, B, and C, and plus the timer built in, plus some RAM, so it has quite a bit of stuff in it. Um... And then it has the uh, EE prom over here. Um, interesting. It has some multiplexed LEDs. Um, so this is a two-segment display being driven by port B. And then uh, the um, cathode, or anode, actually these are common anode. Uh, it's being run by, so these are wired so that when one is on, one is off, and then that comes down here to timer out. So you need to program the timer to give the multiplexing of the uh, of the two displays, and using ports A and B to scan the keyboard. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. Uh, there's a little flip-flop here for TIM. Maybe that's for single-stepping things. Uh, timer in. Oh, that's for clocking the timer, so you can individually clock it. Um, interesting. I do believe, though, that I do have all of the parts. This, um, these here are just connectors for additional I.O. circuitry. I don't think they're necessary to actually run these parts. These are kind of strange parts. Uh, they're at L, LTS 3112, which, not with that, or 312, I guess. Anyway, that's kind of a strange, strange part number, but I don't believe I need those chips in there to make this thing run, so that's good. Um, also notice that these are some HC parts, HC and an HCT. So it's a much later design uh, than it was back in the day. This is an HC, HC, and the HCT. So that's interesting. I'm not sure when this uh, when this board was designed. 